Thank you for joining us for another one of our contest award winners. And uh, this particular person uh, has this wonderful home dating back from uh, 1884 in the uh, Hudson River Valley. It was uh, a painter named E.L. Henry who built the house out of uh, pieces of other buildings in the area. And uh, the question was, what can we do with it to give it some more character? The house has had a number of bad details and bad window configuration changes over the years, particularly in the 70s. And um, they were fortunate enough to have some old photographs from the 1940s, which gave me a clue about what to do with this particular house. Overall, it, it's really kind of a collection of many pieces. It almost looks like it was a number of houses that have been cribbed together over time. So the idea is how do we create a more cohesive whole for the particular ensemble? And um, the first thing we want to do is to um, beef up the trim around this wonderful uh, artist-like window that needs to be uh, addressed and add some more character and more detail to that window to make it more pronounced. I'd also like to add some corner boards to the house to uh, give it a little more definition. We'd like to put a wood roof back on the house as it did have originally. And um, I'd like to accentuate the little entry piece in a way that um, gives it some more life. Perhaps add a little coach light above the entry door I paint the house white with the Essex green trim. There's an interesting little uh, mold square window off to the side. I'd like to add a window box and some shutters over here. Again, the corner boards. Get rid of the wrought iron railings that are on the steps. This other little small window here down below. Again, give it a little more life with some beefed up trim, shutters, and window boxes. And the bay window, which is fairly nice, I think all that just really needs to do is just uh, change the paint color. The window patterning is, is nice with the mullioned windows, which I think looks great. And um, the biggest problem has to do with the right side of the house. We've got this very tall, narrow, skinny chimney. And then we have a kind of a 1970s window that was put in place where there was a matching window from the other side, from the old photo photographs from 1940. So we'd like to put that back in. And then this area on the right originally was an open air porch. So the concept is how to enlarge the glazing and break down the scale with some mullions and things that really make this feel like it was the porch that was enclosed over time this idea of a different sense of history that makes more sense, I think, uh, will give the house a better hierarchy of what was done in the past uh, and it'll alleviate these 1970 things. The other thing that's wrong with the house is the asphalt driveway comes right up to the house. So we'd like to move the driveway back, uh, create a walkway, maybe even a nice coach light, and there's a relatively new looking shed in the rear here with another drive. I think we want to plant some new landscaping and screening. Maybe there's a sense of, of gates or a fence that hides that. And we really need to create all new, so all new landscaping in, in the foreground of the house itself. And possibly even add another small window uh, up in the gabled end that matches the other square windows to give some verticality to the ensemble. It has this very interesting horizontal board siding on the house, which I think is fine. So that would continue. And again, with the wood roof, I think that will really uh, give it some character and a little shade and shadow. And uh, I think that will start to, to help. And I think what we have as a completed thought is a house that really tells the story of the history of this house in a way that's clearly defining how things were added on and really tells the story of the porch. And this gabled end with this wonderful window gets accentuated 
and detailed, and I think it really tells a very nice story. The overall curb appeal of this house really has to do with not only the house, but also pulling the driveway away, creating a, a nice brick or bluestone walkway, and getting some uh, landscaping that softens the house and really starts to add some additional trees and screening that hide the shed at the back in a way that really um, gives the house a presence on the land. So thank you for winning the contest, and I hope you enjoy the uh, process that we've shared today and the end result. Thanks again, and see you soon.